Hi, welcome into my studio and on this short video I'm going to show you how I drew this very detailed wolf in pastels using pan pastels and also pastel pencils. And if you want to see a real detailed version of this, I've got a four hour video series over on my Patreon art channel and there's lots and lots of other pastel oils, graphites and other videos too. So when I'm starting a drawing or even a painting, I like to get myself a nice tonal map done and pan pastels make that super, super easy. You can just use a, sp a small sponge as I'm using here. And to start with, to do the, the tonal underdrawing, all I'm gonna use is black. And that's just giving me the light and the dark shades. So once I've got the tonal underdrawing done, I then move on to using the pans with colors. There's some great subtle colors in the range it's very suitable for wildlife so that makes it very easy to get a great base layer down of base colors and it's very important to get this base down and to get your colors fairly accurate because that's what I'm going to build upon there's no point jumping straight in with details is how lots of novices get confused at the beginning you need to get the foundations in first and pan pastels are absolutely brilliant at doing that very thing and then build on top of that important base layer and start to add the texture of the fur and when it's taken step by step as I show you in my full length video it's really simplified so even complicated subjects and fur such as this wolf becomes much much more manageable then I move on to the real details starting to build layer upon layer and I show you which papers to use which pencils I use because those are critical things as you've probably seen on my YouTube channel where I've reviewed papers and pencils and it's also very very important to really go in the fur direction the fur growth and I move on and start to cover the background and this is yet another area where pan pastels excel I've never found anything so far that creates such a soft out of focus background as quickly and as smoothly as the pan pastels And then with all that groundwork already done, I can put in the final details of the brightest highlights that I've reserved all the way through and the whiskers and all those minuscule little things that make the painting really pop. As mentioned, there's a four hour video over on my Patreon channel for anybody that wants to see a long, really detailed version filled with tips and techniques. If you're looking for more art resources, I've really got you covered. I've got a dedicated tutorial website, that's jasonmorgan.co.uk. Lots of videos on there, ebook tutorials, you name it, it's on that site. I've got a Patreon art channel. So every month I put up brand new videos, and that could be pastel videos, oils, charcoals, the full length videos and there's also photo references with the easy trace line art on there I've got quite a few hundred people supporting me and that's on patreon and also if you're after even more reference photos I got a dedicated website just packed and packed with reference photos I think it's about 900 on there at the moment so that's wildlifeart-online.com now please with my youtube channel new videos coming on here as well if you can possibly subscribe to the channel, then you're never going to miss out on new videos.